What's up guys? Today um, I just wanted to show you a new app that I picked up. Um, I'm finding this app extremely amazing. Now it, it's called Luma Fusion. It's an editor, um, a video editor, and it's it's definitely the most robust video editor that I have found for iOS. Now I have been on the search for something that allows layering, um, so it allows transparent PNGs, those kinds of things to make my video a little more livelier and things like that. I'm pretty much majority of the time I'm restricted to editing on my phone because I'm usually on the go and it's the only way I can roll out videos in a lot of cases. Um, in some cases I will edit on the PC when I'm doing like let's play videos and those kinds of things but even those I'm kind of pressed for time sometimes and the Luma Fusion makes it a ton easier. Now I just picked this up yesterday and I've been playing around a lot with it and I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little about it and um, things that I've learned in the last day. So I've edited my first project with it, and it was pretty amazing um, to work with. Now, it was a little cumbersome at first, so I, I must admit. It did take a little time to get used to, um, and it still has its, um, it has its drawbacks and things like that that I've, I'm still trying to overcome and get used to um, since it is robust and you're T you're squeezing it onto a tiny iPhone screen. Well, tiny. I mean, I do have a 7 Plus, but it's still, it is tiny when I'm looking at it on the screen. And you kind of have to do a lot in a little small space, and that does take getting used to. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys this app. It's really cool. Now, it it's a very expensive app. It's probably the most expensive app that I've ever paid for, and it was $19.99. But in my opinion, so far anyway, I've only had it for a day, it is an extremely valuable purchase for me and I find it a, a tremendous value for $19.99 so I just want to show this to you guys now up until this point I've been using iMovie which it's good for what it is um, it, it's not layered or anything like that but for on-the-fly quick editing and things like that now you can't do anything super fancy but there are things you can do um, it's been a great program for that, and I will still use it for quick on the fly, like vlogs and things like that. But um, it, I can do a lot of fine tuning in this application. So I do recommend this to you guys, uh, at least based on my views so far. But this is how you pretty much, this is what you're looking at on the screen right now. This is what I'm seeing on my iPhone screen. So the effect I did on another application with the uh, explosion so that wasn't done in here oh well, some of it was I actually went in I added the uh, the logo in here which is pretty cool you can do a lot of animations and things like that in there a lot of different transitions in here um, a ton more than iMovie but you can do a lot of things you could do slip edits which is awesome um, now, you, I've heard from other people that you can run into memory issues if you start doing a lot of different effects and things like that. So that can be a challenge, especially since the iPhone, I think, only has, what, 4 gigs of RAM. But it's so far, I haven't run into any issues besides um, having a hard time just navigating around. That's the that's probably the hardest thing at first is trying to learn how to navigate the application. But I'm getting there. And I, I successfully edited my first project. But if you want to add like overlays and things like that, you can. Um, so, I mean, you'll, you'll notice up in the top left, there's a flower looking icon. That's where you're pretty much going to for different, um, different things like your videos. And you can find your titles and transitions here. So that's usually the place that I default to. I go ahead and look in the top left. You can also change like your, your views, like your layouts. And you can make it kind of tweak it to your liking. I kind of like the one at the top left. That's kind of what I've gotten used to so far. I may play around with more later. But you can do a lot of different things in here. Um, so, for instance, I'll just go ahead and, and add a transparent PNG here. So I'm just going to go look in the pictures here. So I'm just going to add Hello Neighbor. So he's kind of chilling here. He's This is a transparent picture. So I'm going to take him and I'm going to drag him right here. And I'm just kind of... if you so right now my video track is down in that blue area right there. And I'm just going to drop him right above that. So this is where your overlay track would typically go. So this would be like a transparent PNG. 
or something like that usually. So there he is. There's Hello Neighbor. Whoa. So it looks like he is... Uh, I don't know if this one's coming up transparent, but... This one, I don't know why it's not coming up transparent, but we'll get rid of that one. We're going to try a different one. Apologies for that. So basically, when you want to delete something, you just highlight what you're trying to delete. You just tap your finger on it, and then there's a little trash can down here. And then it goes away. So once you do that, then let me take a look and see. So this was a transparent thing, this little donut I had earlier. There we go. This one's showing up as transparent. So I'm just basically taking my finger, dragging it down, and I'm just putting it right above the blue overlay track there. Or the blue track, rather, which is my main video. And there we go. So now it's kind of huge. So I'm just going to double tap on that overlay that I just put. And here you can kind of just pinch zoom. And you can put that wherever you'd like. You can just move it around. Here you go. I'm just moving it wherever I want. So let's say I want this donut here. I put the donut right here. And then when I'm done fitting it, I can put it wherever I want. You can also add, like, you could make it a picture-in-picture. Picture. You could put it, you could pretty much edit this to your heart's content. Now, I just usually leave it like this, wherever I put it. And then what I'm going to do, then you hit that back arrow up in the top left. Then you get back to your project. It can be a little cumbersome, but, I mean, you have that little screen and you're working with it. So there's not much they could have done besides what they did when they, when they developed the app. So I'm going to take this. So now let's say I want to add an animation. So I want this thing to pop up. So I'm going to hit that top left again. And this is where, you know, the sources come from usually. They also have um, a good selection of royalty-free music that you could use in your videos, which is really cool. I've used a couple so far. It's nice to have those royalty-free because you don't want to get flagged on YouTube. You know, you don't want the music to get flagged. I had a song get flagged that I thought was royalty free, but unfortunately it wasn't, so I removed the video and I added one of these, so it's cool enough. Um, so I'm going to add a transition. So I tapped on transitions. Now you have a ton of transitions, if you could see this. It's just, you have a lot of transitions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick one, and I'm going to pick grow. So basically, I'm going to make that thing, it's going to grow on the screen. So it's going to come from nowhere and just kind of appear. That's my goal here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it, I'm dragging it right next to that picture of that donut, that transparent picture. And I put it right next to it. So now when you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. That donut should expand. It should kind of appear small and then grow onto the screen in a cool little effect here. So there and it is. Boom. We the donut are going appears. To be Very cool. Up. I think that's awesome. But then I want that donut, let's say I want it to disappear off the screen. So I'm going to make the donut um, picture a little longer in duration. So it'll have some time to, to hang out on the screen. So I'm just going to make it a little over a second here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to make it, I'm going to do something else with it. Let's see. I'm just going to play around here. There is no um, formality to this. I'm just going to do something. So I'm just going to, let's say, I'm just going to make it go down on the screen. I'm just going to make it go to the bottom of the screen. So I'm taking this one, and I am putting it next to that donut. Sorry. Okay, there it is. So now let's go back, and let's watch the, the donut appear and then disappear. Anthony, and today we are going to... And there goes the donut. Vlog, it went up to the, off the top of the screen. But, like I say, that's really cool to add overlays like that. That's the main reason that I got this application. Other than that, I mean, it's been a... Um, it's great for other things as well. Like, you can add multiple audio tracks. That's another thing that you have a hard time doing an i uh, iMovie. iMovie is very simple. It is great for that. 
trust me, I, I find it very uh, nice for just simple edits, but this is something that I'm going to find myself using, I think, a lot more frequently. But, I mean, if you want to see this in action, what you're going to want to do is watch my, um, my vlog that I created today, which is um, Heroic Run to Dunkin' Donuts. And that was entirely edited in this application. So I definitely recommend this application. And uh, it's called Luma Fusion. I'll probably be posting some more videos on how to do different things as I learn them. But I thought that it would be cool to show you um, how to add a transparent PNG overlay. All right. You guys have a great day.